Here are the top five things I wish I knew at 20 years old about money, life, and business. And I was dead broke at 20, a college baseball player, and just looking for an entry-level job the next couple of years. And at 30 years old, I became a multimillionaire by investing in real estate and building multiple seven-figure businesses. So let's jump right into it. Number one, and a lot of you are gonna fight me on this, but this is completely against the Dave Ramsey mindset and that all debt is bad. That is completely and far from the truth. Now let me explain, because some debt is bad, but a lot of debt can be good if leveraged in the right way. Debt like high interest credit card debt can be very detrimental to your personal finances. If you're not paying your credit cards off on time and you have a 20 to 25% interest rate, you are literally just handing away money for free. So make sure you don't buy things you cannot afford and pay off immediately that month on a credit card. However, low interest debt, when leveraged to build a business or make an investment to something like real estate that pays you monthly cash flow and builds your wealth over time, that is good debt. And a point I wanna make here is that debt is not taxed. So let me explain how this works in terms of real estate. Let's say you buy a $100,000 property just for even numbers and you put a 20% down payment. You are leveraging $80,000 from the bank or some other form of, of lending institution and you are only putting down 20K. So although you only own 20% of that asset, right? You rent it out to a tenant or maybe on Airbnb, they're paying off the loan for you every single month. And the interest rate right now may be in the six or 7% range, but honestly, inflation has been at eight or 9%. So if you have debt that is at an interest rate that's less than inflation, personally, I consider that free money because I'd rather borrow at that rate than just hoard my money in my savings account. But debt is not taxed because if you have an appreciating asset, let's say that $100,000 property over the next five or 10 years goes up to $150,000. Although you only own 20% of that property, and put in 20,000, you now own the extra $50,000. So you capture 100% of that appreciated value. And if you were to do a cash out refinance, basically taking on a new loan in place of the old loan at the new value of that property, at a same 20% loan to value ratio, now you can pull out that money tax free and then reinvest it, right? Because the IRS doesn't view that as income, they just view it as a new loan. So if you're able to continuously leverage debt to acquire more assets, that is how people build significant wealth over time. Taking on debt to acquire an investment such as real estate is typically going to yield a far higher return on your investment or ROI when you do it right. Let me explain how this works in very simple terms. Let's say you buy a property and then you rent it out to a tenant and you, have, you buy all cash. So if you buy it all cash, you're not gonna have a mortgage payment each month. You're not gonna be paying principal or interest, so your cash flow is gonna be much higher. Let's say your cash flow is $4,000 per month. That's amazing, right? Now let's say if you spent that same amount of money, but instead of buying one property all cash, you put 20 or 25% down on four properties. Now each of those four properties are gonna be cash flowing you, let's say $2,000 per month, because now we have a mortgage payment but the overall yield on our investment is much higher because now we're cash flowing $8,000 total on that same amount of money invested instead of four. Now major businesses and millionaires and billionaires understand how to leverage debt in the right way. That's why even though they have the amount of cash or capital necessary to buy houses, investments, or cars, things like that, all cash, a lot of them will leverage low interest debt even though they have the funds to do it. So they'll leverage the low interest debt because they understand how money works, they understand how debt works, and they're gonna get a higher yield on their money by doing that. My advice is pay off high interest debt like credit card debt immediately, but do not be in a rush to pay off your student loans, your low interest car debt, or a mortgage. Instead, take that same amount of money and invest it in something like real estate that's going to yield you a much higher rate of return than simply paying off that low interest debt. Number two is what the American dream actually is. And yes, this can be subjective, but when I was younger growing up, I thought the American dream was simply to go to college and then get a decent paying job and work my way up the corporate ladder so I could make more money and buy nicer things, go on better vacations, have a nicer car, etc. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But there is a different way, and what I consider the American dream is to build something. Build the coolest or most incredible life that you or your family can possibly live, and oftentimes that does not involve you working for somebody else. If you want true financial freedom and true time freedom, especially at a younger age, 
You have to learn how to create a business or invest your money so you can become financially free. So honestly, think about the life you want to live, not the one that society tells you to live every single day. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to be a slave to your job, constantly trading your time for money. What you need to do is be in charge of money and have your money go out and work hard for you. And I promise you, if you want to live a true kick-ass life, the life of your dreams, 99.9% .9 of people are not going to achieve that by working a corporate job building somebody else's dream. Number three is saving money. I wish I didn't have such a big focus on saving money, saving cash, the US dollar, in a bank account or in a cookie jar under my mattress. Instead, you have to learn how to invest money. Saving money is not going to do anything but devalue your wealth over time. And here's what I mean by that. Ever since the US came off the gold standard back in the 1970s, the Fed has just been printing money ever since. And anytime the government needs to have a crazy bailout or if we're in a recession and we need to print money and inject it into the economy, all they do is print new money. But guess what happens when new money is entered into the economy? It devalues the currency itself. So any fiat currency or paper currency, such as the US dollar, as long as there is uh, more money being created, this causes inflation. And what inflation does is it makes everything, goods and services around us become relatively more expensive as it pertains to the US dollar. So by simply saving money, you're actually becoming poorer every single day if that money is not invested into an asset that is growing over time, paying you monthly cash flow and hedging against inflation. So at the end of the day, a lot of people assume investing your money is risky, but honestly, it's far more risky to not invest your money because you're just prolonging the time it takes for you to actually be able to retire or reach that financial freedom stage. Number four, and this is something I did not do in my younger years and I really am beating myself up for it, and that is to invest in yourself. I can guarantee you from experience that it is 100% worth paying for somebody else's knowledge or expertise to help accelerate the time it takes for you to develop the new skill and to start making money in whatever it is that endeavor is for you. For example, if you have interest in investing in real estate or Airbnbs, pay a mentor or coach like myself who's been there, done that, already made the mistakes, that can help you 10x your money in like a way shorter time period. Personally, I wish I did this early on. I would have avoided so many mistakes and my cash flow would be 10x what it is today. Recently, I've started investing in myself and consulting because I understand that there are things that I do not know how to do and it's a great big world filled with technology and different businesses and it would take me years to learn and understand how to do certain things on my own. So I've invested over six figures into my businesses recently and just in three months I've tripled my monthly income. So it is far and above paid for itself multiple times over. When I was younger I was under the mindset of hey I'd rather just do it myself, bootstrap it and no one can do it better than I can do it. And honestly a lot of you watching are probably under that same mindset but honestly, I'd rather invest all of my money into a mentor or a coach or acquiring a new skill before investing in something like the stock market or before investing in real estate. Because by acquiring that new skill, I'm going to accelerate my journey to making more money and building my wealth faster. And my personal wealth and income would be 10x today what it is if I were to adopt this mentality earlier on in my life. Number five, and this is the most critical thing in this day and age, and that is to get out of the consumer mindset in all aspects of life and turn into a creator, a creator of value, a creator of products and services. And let me explain how this works. The first thing that comes to mind for most people is social media. And I know this sounds crazy, but if you can stop consuming so much social media, I mean, most of us spend hours of time on our phones, on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube per week, and sometimes per day, watching Netflix, just consume, consume, consume. Instead, if you could take just a portion, maybe 10% of that time and start creating content, provide value to the marketplace, provide value to consumers out there, I promise there's somebody out there who has interest in listening to you and learning from what you have to offer. If you learn how to build an audience, and no, it doesn't have to be millions of followers, but if you can build an audience that follows you religiously and believes in what you have to say, and you can learn how to build an underlying business and monetize that audience, you guys will make so much more money and have so much more fun doing it than you are working for somebody else at, at your corporate job. I wish I started creating content at 20 years old, but honestly, I never thought anybody would wanna to listen to me. I didn't think I had anything valuable to offer, but I started at age 28 and I made $0 my first year. But that's not what's important, because in year two, I made over $1 million 
just based off of my personal brand and creating value in the marketplace and creating underlying businesses. That was the hardest part for me to understand. Once you build a following, a lot of people still don't make any money. So you have to learn how to monetize your audience by selling something, a product, a service, coaching, whatever it is, somebody's out there is likely willing to pay for it. And honestly, if I can do it, anybody can do it. The creator economy is the biggest opportunity of our lifetime. And there are so much money getting dumped into this space. So please do not sit on the sidelines and miss out on this opportunity. Now, outside of social media, we are all consumers at heart. We consume products, we go out to eat, we consume coffee, drinks at the bar, we consume services all day long. So instead of just being in a consumer mindset every day, start spending time, effort, and money on creating some type of product or service and offering it into the marketplace. If you can solve a problem for people in the marketplace, you can make money. At the end of the day, you just need to provide some type of value to people and provide excellent customer service and your business is likely going to grow. So those are the top five things I wish I knew about money, life, and business at 20 years old that I know at 30 and I hope you guys are able to get some value from those five tips. If you found value in this video and the transparency I provide on my channel, please hit that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, tons of more value to come for you. If you're interested in becoming financially free and building your wealth, make sure to follow me here and across all social media at mElefante6.